it's Sam. So today I'm gonna be doing a famous footwear haul. I've partnered up with them to share the best gifts for this holiday season for the whole entire family. So I'm gonna share everything that I got for me, Jay and the kids and oh my goodness you guys, I think I discovered the most amazing, most comfortable slippers ever. If you guys have not tried these slippers, you need to. They are seriously amazing. So we took the kids down to um, Myrtle Beach. That was the closest famous footwear to us. And so we had like a nice little shopping date and we looked around the outlets out there and ended up going into the store. Those are super cute. How about, how about these, these though? Adorable. These are cute. Do you like these? The brown ones are super cute. Ooh, look at those. Fancy. What do you think of those? Is it too tight? Is it too tight? Ooh, those are cute. Those are so cute. Okay, I'm gonna put both of them on. Those are really pretty. I like all the flowers, and they've got zippers. How cool. You wanna try both? You're gonna try both on? Okay. Wow, those are so cute. You like those? Wow. Check yourself out in the mirror. You like them? Those are really pretty. They look adorable. Oh, they're a little bit big? Yeah, need some other ones. Whoa, Nellie, check out the shoes. Those are really cool. Definitely long. Those look really cool. Cool. Very nice. Do they fit? Yeah. <laughs> look how like used yours one, your ones look. I know. Those they're are nice. So, they're so comfy though. Those are good for when you're wearing black. Yeah. I love these. Okay. Cool. We'll get those then. Oh, these are perfect. Perfect. Oh yeah, baby. Oh man. That is so we found the most comfortable slippers of life. They're beautiful. Yeah, we're so excited. Did you like those? No. We have a we have a picky one over here. There's one pair that I ended up ordering online just because um, they didn't have them in store, and Phoenix was like set on having them. So we've all been wearing our slippers because I just like could not wait until Christmas because they were so comfortable when we tried them on in the store. So they've been wearing them a ton. The kids love them. Jay loves his. I'm obsessed with mine. They're honestly the best. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys mine first. And I have been wearing them, so they might look a bit dirty already. I li I've literally been living in them since I got them. These are by Minnetonka, and they have this like really nice. Um, fluff that goes all the way around and then they're kind of like a little moccasin they're so cute and I feel like they just feel like kind of Pocahontas shoes um, so when I wear them I feel like I'm in a Disney movie and then they just slip on but then they do have this little back so that you can slip your foot in but then you still have a little bit of support on the back here and then it does have kind of like a hard bottom so that if you do need to go outside which um, I usually take Fiona out in the back and we have like a little patio out there, then I can still take these out and they do have that hard bit. I got a size eight and I would definitely recommend sizing up with these type of slippers um, just because all of us had to size up because they are so fluffy and full. Um, I feel like if you go with your regular shoe size, it'll be a little snug. So we all sized one full size up and they fit perfectly. So I got an eight in these slippers and normally I wear a size seven. And it goes for the exact same with the kids ones as well. So for the kids, they had these really cute um, little, I guess they're still kind of like moccasins. Um, whoops, wrong way. Okay, so here are lilies. So the kids got matching ones. They did have a pink pair online, but we couldn't find a um, lily size in store of the pink pair. So we ended up just going with this nice kind of camel colored pair. Um, her bow on this side keeps on coming undone, so that's why it doesn't look as great. Like I said, they have been wearing them. They have been obsessed um, with these. And again, these ones do have that bottom that's hard, which is nice, so if they do need to go outside, and take Fiona out for me. They do have that little hard bottom. And then they're just so fuzzy and lovely inside. Um, they're just really cozy. They're very comfortable. They have a nice squishy bottom. So the kids absolutely love these. So they both have their cute 
little matching pair. So you can see Phoenixes are slightly, they're slightly less kind of warm. They have kind of a cooler tone. And then Jay, unfortunately, we could not find his size in the Minnetonka. They do have bigger sizes for men in that Minnetonka. And honestly, I think Minnetonka is like such a great slipper brand. If you guys haven't tried, there was also this like really cute little Aztec pair, which I really was, I was trying to like debate on which one I wanted to get. I ended up going with these ones just so that we could all kind of match. Um, but those ones were really cute and I will link those down below for you guys. So we ended up getting Bear Paw for Jay. I've actually had a pair of Bear Paw boots in the past, which I actually loved. So I said to Jay, well, why don't you try these ones on? Again, he did size up. So you can see they're very similar to the Minnetonka. I think the Minnetonka is a slight bit softer on the inside. Um, but he said that these are really comfortable and he absolutely loves his. I would say that the bear paw is a little bit more rugged on the bottom. Like the sole is a little thicker and it's definitely super hard. So you could totally wear these outside if you needed to. Um, so that would be the only difference I feel like is that these ones are just a little bit thicker of a sole and kind of a little bit more durable. Really comfortable. He said that they're really, really nice. They feel super soft on the feet. They're nice and gushy on the bottom. So we all now have our cute little matching slippers. Like how adorable are we with our matching slippers? So cute. And I love the fact that I can just slip those slippers on. They're so easy to slip on in the morning. I have to wake up super early to let Fiona out. And then of course I'm getting up early with the kids. So is Jay. So in the morning, you know, you're just kind of like uh, fumbling around. So it's nice to just be able to like slip them on super easily and just like wobble out of bed and take the dog out. Now I'm very excited that we're all matchy matchy. The next pair of shoes I got was for myself. So I decided to get these ones and I'm obsessed with the way that these ones look. I love this little top fit right here. It's super cute. They do have that nice big kind of very, uh, you know, rugged bottom. Not that we need it here. It's not snowy or anything, but if you do live in a climate where it is snowy, that's why I love my bear paw boots so much was that they are, you know, they are a very rugged bottom. So if you are going to be walking in snow and it's kind of slippery, they're really nice and sturdy in the snow and you're not going to slide all over the place. So I absolutely love the faux fur trim here. I just think it looks really nice on the leg. It's quite flattering. Um, it just kind of breaks up like your leg versus like the boot, which I really like. I like how it has that little bear paw kind of logo. Is it metal? No, it's plastic but it's super cute and they're really comfortable and they are like nice and fuzzy on the inside. Um, so yes, absolutely love these. They're super duper nice, really comfortable and super cozy and they just like look really cute. Yesterday we went out to go get um, ice cream with the kids and I was just having my leggings on and I wasn't feeling very well. I was really cold and I was just like, ugh, you know? So I just like stuck a big old cardigan on and my boots and I was just like super cozy, but I didn't feel like I looked like a complete mess, but I still feel like I had slippers on. So that's what I love about those is that they're just easy to throw on when it's cold outside and you're just kind of being like mm, lazy. Those are amazing. Next are these dress shoes, but he is obsessed with these. As soon as we got them in online, um, because obviously like they knew I was making this video, so I just let them have everything early. So yeah, he's like badgering me to wear these. They went out, Jay took them to the store this morning so that I could film this, and um, they're picking out Christmas lights for the house. But he wanted to wear these, and I was like, no, I have to film, I'm sorry. And he's like, oh, but I really wanna wear them. I won't wear anything else. I'm like, well, you're gonna go barefoot then, my friend, because you can't wear these. Um, but anyway, <laughs> he's obsessed. He thought, he said that they were super comfortable. I did get a wide, because his, foot, his foot's quite wide. Um, and it's got like a nice chunky little bottom. And they do have a good grip as well. You know, it's a pretty good grip for a dress shoe. It's not terrible, but they are very nice. They're by Perry Ellis. God, it looks huge, doesn't it? it makes him look like he's got a massive foot. Um, but yeah, I think they're a nice little shoe. And now he's got something cute to wear for his little Christmas performance um, in a few weeks at school. So yes, I'm sure he's gonna be wearing them all the time though. So if you see him on Instagram with the most random outfit ever, don't just don't even pay attention, just ignore it. Okay, next, what? I got these for Lily. She found these in the clearance section and um, she basically fell in love with them. She said that they're super duper comfortable and again, she has been wearing these. So let's get focused here, there we go. They're by Roxy and they were only $25 in the clearance section. They've got the little pink back, which is super cute. 
um, and then the bottom you can see she has been wearing them they are a bit dirty at the moment uh, but she loves these and she said that they're super comfortable and they're actually quite gushy they do have like a really nice foamy bottom um, they're nice because you can just slip them on you don't have to worry about tying them because they're already like that kind of like a little stretchy and they're really cute with the little floral print they do look very pretty but they're kind of more like a winter floral than a summer floral so she loves those those are great for just everyday wear um, and i like the kind of like subtle colors but like i still like the fact that it's black because it or it's, I suppose it's quite kind of like a charcoal um it, it does match with a lot of stuff so those are lily's shoes we each got a pair of slippers and a pair of shoes um and they do have like socks there fanny packs backpacks um obviously a ton of slippers sneakers dress shoes but i just really wanted to get like cozy winter shoes or just ones that i knew that they were going to wear a ton of and we don't live in a place that has snow anymore so we're quite lucky in the fact that we can really wear whatever we want in the winter time we don't necessarily have to wear like big winter boots anymore which honestly is like amazing i love the weather here in the winter it is the best like it is so mild and so pleasant and like it's a cold enough to wear like a sweater or like a light coat but you don't have to like bundle up and like put gloves on to go shovel like it's honestly amazing not that i ever really shoveled but like occasionally i would help jay and it sucks i just hate the snow i think it looks beautiful but living in it is so hard when you have to drive in it and to get the kids ready for school you have to bundle them all up and there's snow it's like honestly i can't deal with it i hate the snow so much we haven't had that much rain yet so that's been really nice i'm sure it will get rainier at some point but right now it's been amazing i mean technically we're not into winter though are we we're fall but it's just been awesome so by now in tahoe like it's already snowing we don't even have to deal with that so that's amazing but the last pair of shoes i got is for jay and jay absolutely loves vans i got him a pair in the summer i think it was and they were just like a light gray pair and he wears them pretty much every day he's obsessed with them so i wanted to get him another pair that he could wear when he wears like like darker stuff or just black stuff and so i got him the i think they're the exact same pair but just in black and they're the vans they're called the asher canvas black white and they were $49.99 and i will put the prices for all of the other ones in the description box i can't remember I think those were like 25 um i think phoenixes were like 34.99 or something like that i'll put all the prices in the description box for you guys and for 50 bucks they're really comfortable he wears them all the time they're easy to slip on you can wear them with shorts you can wear them with pants they're just like super whoa super nice everyday shoes um that are just like easy and that is what the bottom looks like. He hasn't worn his yet. He's such a good boy. So that is everything that I got from Famous Footwear. So these are all great gifts, especially the slippers. I feel like you can get slippers for anyone. Just remember to size up one size if you do get this specific brand because they do run a little bit small. But who doesn't want a pair of slippers at Christmas? I mean, I just feel like it's the best gift to give anyone. I'm obsessed with my boots. Those are super comfortable. But my slippers, I would say, are my favorite out of everything. Like, if I could recommend anything for you, get the slippers, the Minnetonka. They are so unbelievably comfortable, amazing. So cute, I love this little stitching around the side here. I just think that they are so pretty. I like that little stitching right in the front as well. Right here, it just looks so pretty. They're so cute, they're my little Pocahontas slippers. I love that movie so much. I just like want to be her. She's so pretty running in the wind singing with her lovely long hair. Me and my sister, like when we were kids, um, she was always Pocahontas because my sister was always really, really naturally tan, like so much darker than me. And um, she had this massive, thick, long, like Pocahontas hair. And it was super long, like I think probably to her butt. And she always wore barefoot. Everywhere she went, she would not wear shoes. Like my mom would try to get her to wear shoes and she would always just take them off and like run through the woods with no, no shoes on. So we always used to say that she was Pocahontas. And I just love that movie. And I remember it was like the Christmas, I don't know when Pocahontas came out, but for Christmas, I really wanted a Pocahontas bedding set. You know how like they always have like the character bedding set. And my mom was very much into like shabby chic, um, 
like little roses and that kind of stuff. And it was like really colorful. Like the bedding was so colorful. And I remember asking her like, can I please have the, the Pocahontas bedding? And she said, oh, it's a bit bright. And I remember thinking like, well, it's my bed. So what does it matter? Anyway, I never got the Pocahontas bedding. Um, but then my friend got it for Christmas and I was so jealous and I went over to her house and she had this Pocahontas bedding and I was like, what the heck? Like you got your Pocahontas bedding and I still have to have my cream and little soft colored rose bedding. Um, but yeah, I always remember, it's funny the things that you remember from your childhood, but that was like one of those things that like stuck with me. But every time I watch Pocahontas, every time I hear Pocahontas songs, I just always think of that bed set that I really wanted and I never got. <laughs> Same with a Barbie Jeep. I wanted one of those too and I never got that either. So so yeah, there's my random story about Pocahontas. I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, the slippers. So the slippers, Nat, they rhyme, remind me of Pocahontas. Um, so yes, it makes me feel happy when I wear them. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. And again, I will link everything down below. So everything that you see here will be linked. It'll take you right on over to Famous Footwear. I'll put the prices down below and then I'll put TTS if it's true to size or size up if you need to. I think everything else was true to size. It's really just the slippers and the bare paw boots. I did have to size up with the bare paw boots. So I got a size eight in the bare paw instead of a seven. So I think all of the, just the fuzzy, the fuzzy comfies, size up one size, everything else, I think you're probably good to go true to size. Huge thank you to Famous Footwear for partnering up with me for this video and allowing me to choose these fabulous shoes for my family. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you guys enjoyed and found this helpful. I love you guys and I'll see you guys very soon. Mwah.